Hello fellas and fellow readers. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a high intensity sparring session between Sean Strickland and I. He, he got a drone, uh, like a really nice drone, and it monitors his movement. Like wherever he goes, it follows him. If he goes left, it turns left. Um, and it's, it's pretty slick. Uh, so he, he set that up in our octagon. It's floating over us. Uh, and he said, let's just get a, hey Sam, uh, let's record this and let's just get 30 seconds. We're just got no technique, just swing at each other, see what happens. And I said, okay, it sounds good to me. And so that'll be at the end of this video. But prior to that, uh, I, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to, uh, I'm going to explain to you guys how my weight loss is going and the big change I made that made things different. So I am new to YouTube. I'm not, I've only been doing it for a month or two, and I, I'm not I'm not spectacular spectacular at it. Uh, I'm still using my phone. I don't do retakes for the most part, and uh, I, I'm just I don't know. It's it's another way I get to share with you my love for this sport, uh, and I love this sport. It, you know, when I'm thinking about what I want to post every week, it, it it's I, do I want my personality or do I want my experience in there? I try and put a little bit of both. So this week, what I'm doing is I'm doing my my current weight loss. Not yeah, it's actually my, it's my current weight loss. I've been in the UFC for for nine years. I've been fighting for 15 years. I've got 22 fights in the organization. Uh, I've been pretty busy with the organization. I've had my bumps and bruises, and I just experienced something completely new that that I've never experienced in any fight camp in my life. So most training camps. I don't feel good. I mean, you're, you're just constantly beating your body up. You're constantly hurting yourself. You're constantly tearing it down and building back up and just forcing yourself to go through the motions. Um, and that's always been the case. You know, come so it's 5.30, 6.30, 7.30 at night, you feel like, oh, I want to be anywhere else but here. Um, I, I, I usually usually wear it on this arm. You guys see it in all my, my videos. Uh, I wear a my zone heart rate and calorie counter monitor. And it works really well. Uh, at least, you know, <laughs> I think it does. It's very accurate to itself, at least. So I wear this. And what I like to use it for more than the heart rate monitors, I like to use it to know how hard my workout was. I know how hard I know how hard I feel I work. But, uh, you know, it's an actual number. I can, I can grade what I did on. Most camps, if I get to 2,000 calories burned a day while working out, that's a good day. That's a hard day. I know tomorrow I'm going to be real sore, um, so I'll maybe pull it back. If I can get to 17 or 1,800 a day, that's a good day. That's where I want to be. That's my sweet spot. This camp, I've been doing everything with the UFC, They've at least the diet part. They put me in a, a what's it called, a DEXA scan. That's where they lay me flat on this thing. They put tubes in my mouth and they have me breathe and stay silent and lay down as this thing scans me. It takes about 20, 30 minutes to do. And it's it's really, it really is kind of cool because they, it finds out your body fat, it finds out your bone density, it finds out how many calories you will burn naturally. Uh, it finds out all of that stuff. And then they build a diet around it. And the diet people that, that I'm using is Icon. Uh, they work with the UFC and their, their food's been really good. Uh, they actually sent me a box of spices too so I can spice it to my liking. Uh, and that, that's kind of cool. Uh, so so they, they did that. They found out I burn about 2,200 calories by myself without working out. I myself now work out since I'm, I'm, I'm eating more than I ever had before. Uh, during this camp, and I felt great. Uh, I mean, I'm eating around 2,000 calories a day, and uh, but it's precisely what I need it to be. It knows how I, I've told them how hard every workout is that I'm doing, and so it it diagnoses it, it prescribes what I'm eating, when I'm eating, and shoot how I'm eating, whether it's a fork or a spoon. Apparently, that makes a difference. I'm joking. It doesn't make any difference, uh, and, and that's ki kind of where I'm at. Now, this camp, I have felt so good. My my zone is saying I'm burning 25 to 2,800 calories a day. Uh, and I still feel good tomorrow. It's incredible. I've, it's like a superpower eating this well. Uh, I, I am so pleased with myself, so pleased with, with the amount of work and the quality of work I've been able to put in. Uh, when it comes, you know, it's 5.30, 6.30, 7.30 at night, I still feel good. I'm not worn out. I'm not just pushing through. I'm still progressing my workouts. Um, it's a lot of fun. 
However, I weigh Thai. Uh, it is two weeks before my fight. I am about 207 to 209, depending on how hydrated I am. And it's higher than I want it to be. I like going into fight week uh, at 200 pounds. It's only a 15 pound cut from that Tuesday. Right now, I'm 207, 208 ish. Um, and it's not, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be 200 by next Tuesday. And so I, I was, I was nervous about this. It's my weight. It's, I'm eating better. I feel better. I'm definitely enjoying the process, but I'm heavier than I should be. And I, I didn't reach out to the UFC. I didn't reach out to Icon and ask. I just said, you know what? I'm just going to cut the carbs. I'm going to cut whatever they give me. I'm going to cut it down by like three quarters. I'm only eating a quarter of the carbs. Um, and uh, my weight came down last week. I, I got light. However, I felt terrible all day. They've always asked me every every camp I do that I work with the UFC. They ask, "How do you feel, you know, during your training?" And as far as I know, I said I feel fine. I mean, I'm I'm tired and sore and hungry and all that, but that's just to be expected. Uh, apparently not. Apparently, I just wasn't eating half as much as I should have been in previous camps uh, when I was cooking for myself. Uh, now with Icon, I have felt wonderful. It has been a new experience. And for the rest of my coaching and training career, I'm going to be explaining to people. I said, man, you don't have to feel terrible. You can just eat a little more, uh, eat at the proper times, eat what you're supposed to eat. And you you will you will feel great through your training. And that that is, I mean, I had such a good camp because of it. Now, I cut cut my carbs. And overnight, I should say over a week, I mean like one week to the next week, I felt like garbage. Uh, I felt come 5.30, 6.30, I, I'm just like, ugh, I want to be anywhere but here right now. I'm just tired. In boxing classes, and I'm just boom, 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 just getting hit in the head all night. Um, and it's like, ugh. but my weight was coming down. And at this point of the camp, that was important to me. I needed my weight to come down. And so at the end of last week, I reached out to the UFC, told them what I did. And they said, why are you so dumb? They said it nicer than that. But I said, listen, you're eating more than ever before, which is fine, which is good. We, we map that out. Now, what you have to understand is because you're eating so many carbs, so many everything, your body's burning it. Your body is storing the waste. It's just what bodies do. They store waste. Um, so you have got an extra five or six pounds extra in you right now. Uh, so when we cut the carbs at the end of next week, Sam, you're just going to lose five or six pounds real quick. So honestly, if you're heavy, you're not five or six pounds heavy right now. You're two or three pounds heavy right now. And I said, oh, I can deal with that. I've done that before. I said, yeah. And so he kind of laughed. He said, get your carbs back in. We will cut them next week at the end of next week. Get your training in. Um, and so, so that's what I'm going to be doing this week. I'm going back up in carbs. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my last week of training. I'm not going to worry so much about what the scale says because I know what's, <laughs> I know how much crap is in me and, um, it, it's going to be a good rest of my camp. It's still, I still might show up a little heavy to fight week. Uh, like five or six pounds lighter still puts me two or three pounds heavier than I like to be. But it's not, I mean, two or three pounds heavier. It's just an extra bath when it comes time to, to weight cut. So it's not so bad. So it's going to be a good cut. It's going to be a good last part of my camp. And uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this, this new learning I've done. Like I said, everyone I ever coach and train from here on out, that's what I'm, I mean, that is what I'm going to be doing with them. I'm going to be explaining to them, you feel garbage, eat more, eat something, eat more appropriately, eat when you're supposed to. Um, and so this was, this is <laughs> nine years in the UFC. I finally figured it out. I've always had a good diet, but nine years in the UFC, I finally figured out why I feel so bad. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be such a good coach when I'm older, when I, when I'm retired, you know, 20 years from now, I, I, it's kind of the, the nice thing of having so many fights is I've had so many experiences. I've learned so much. Uh, and then that's, that's going to be me. Um, so anyways, as I promised at the beginning, here's uh, Sean Strickland and I fighting each other. But um, that's just a little bit of how my camp is going. Uh, and enjoy the bloodbath.